everyone, I'm your host, Boss Jillian. We're here in Horizon for Bedden West. Yeah. This is part 10. So, it's been getting really intense. I'm enjoying myself. Nice. I strafed it. Shine silver. Gemstone. It's green like glaze, but it's hard and shiny. Wonder if merchants would be interested. I'll keep
Nora in the dump. Happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. A what? Make me a meal, bitch! Wow. Mildef, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. to him and he'll uh, uh, throughout the world to purchase food. That would be a good idea to start back for that free meal. Go on, peruse my menu. Alright, let's see what you got. do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think that Olven's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. What is this concession decree that Olven wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. 
Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. Uh, blaming the Karja. How does blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. What's your role? How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> oh, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. Ah, uh, I'll be going. I need to go. Of course. If I'm going to find out where the bristlebacks came from, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going?
and J wishbone, okay. goes, oh, I see it.